I'm Jean Hardy of Crafty Individuals. We are UK manufacturers of finely detailed art rubber stamps and a number of other paper products including miniature image books and glossy sheets. You'll find all our products on our website at www.craftyindividuals.co.uk Hi again, as I said um, we manufacture our own range of highly detailed art rubber stamps. We have a new range out at the moment which is by a lady called Alice. She calls herself Alice Palace and she normally designs greetings cards. Uh, she's also agreed to design some rubber stamps for us. This is, these is my starting point today and as I said we're going to do a, a one layer uh, simple but effective greetings card and in it I'm going to use masking, uh, masking sheets by Stix2. This is uh, something new we've just got in and I absolutely love it. it it's not as sticky as masking tape so it won't pull um, any of your paper from your card when you're using it. It's easy to cut up. You can use it to cover a stamped area or an unstamped area to leave it white ready for you to add colour to. Um, you can do straight lines with it, curvy lines, anything that you can cut with a pair of scissors. So today we're going to use that and some white card blanks to make some rather nice one layered cards. Okay, so I think we'll start, we'll do today, we'll do the goose um, because it's got the cloud shapes in it as well and although it's simple it will just give you an idea what else you can do with the masking sheets. Okay, so you want to start with a, a white card blank like that and lay it flat on here and then you need to trim down some of the masking sheet to make some nice straight strips that you're going to use. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to cut down uh, some straight pieces of the masking sheet to stick onto this card to make my straight lines down the edge here. So we'll start with that. So I'm just going to do, I'm not going to measure this up, but if you want it perfectly straight and equal and even, then you can always measure it and give yourself some guidelines. But for speed, I'm just going to cut straight into it here. So I'm just going to cut myself two strips, not too thin, so that um, my distress inks don't get on any parts of the card where I don't want them to be. So I'm going to take the rubber stamp which is already mounted and it's cut quite closely round so that uh, we don't get any shadowing going on. As I explained in the last video, I have actually detached some parts of the stamp from the main stamp. I decided it would be easier to have the stars separately and it's a fine day and I'm perfectly happy separately so that I can put them where I want to. Okay so I'm going to decide whereabouts on my card I'm going to have this so I'll say it's going to be about there. You peel the clear backing off the masking sheet and then I'm going to try and stick this in a straight line down my card. Again, you could measure all this and get it perfectly accurate if you wanted to, but I'm just going to uh, guess it, just so I don't keep you waiting about. Now you can stick that down onto there just to cover that and hold it in place. Take the other clear part off there and I'm just laying this on here for the, for the width of the stamp. And then just line that up there with the card like that. So this area is where I'm going to colour with Distress Inks and where I'm going to stamp. Okay, put that out of the way. I'm going to start with a lighter colour. You can use any colours you want here, but I'm going to start with a lighter colour in the background. And this is a wild honey. And I'm just going to put this all over to start off with. I'm using a nice round top stencil brush. We sell these on the site as well. They're very useful for colouring and I'm just going to drag it across there to get some colour going in, this, in the whole area. 
We're also selling distress inks or a small range of distress inks on the website too now so you can get everything you need from our site or bar the card the card blanks. This is a, a 12 centimeter square card blank here and this seems to be perfect for this sort of this sort of size stamp that I'm using. Okay so I've got the beginnings of the colour on here. As I said this is the card I'm going to make to use to make. So I'll just lay that there. So I've got the yellow all over and now I'm going to add a little bit of pink to the bottom edge just to give it a bit more of an interesting colour. So I'm going to take some of that on my stencil brush and I'm just going to edge that in here. It doesn't matter if it's not totally perfect because you're going to be stamping over it anyway but just get it as nice and as smooth a colour as you can. So there we have the pink on it. And then in the middle area I'm going to add another colour, a slightly more orangey colour. Just to give it a little bit more effectiveness there. Okay. Now I'm purposely leaving this light at the top because that's where I'm going to do some clouds. So now I'm going to cut myself some cloud shapes. These don't have to be perfect. Just cut out some random clouds. Well, we'll, we'll just go with the one cloud and I can turn it round. Just give yourself some smooth edges. the way and then I'm going to start by laying that across so I just need to take the backing off like that and I'm going to lay it across part of the card not the whole thing just a part of it is fine now I'm going to edge this again in the the red or the pinky sort of color and you can just work a bit on here if you think it might be a bit bright. And then I'm going to go around that, make sure it's down well, like that, just to get a bit of colour going on there. And that will pick out the cloud nicely for me. Okay, so you've got one side there. I can now lift that masking up there. Then you've got the cloud and then I'll just turn it round same one and put it at the top just to add another cloud effect. Okay, so that will probably do that. And there we are, so you've got another cloud there. You can keep these to do a future card. No need to waste these, they can be used again. I'm going to peel the edges off. So that will give you your nice straight lines on your card. Peel it away and then I'm going to ink up my goose on here. Just press him down a bit. Um, on the, on the um, acrylic block. So I'm going to go all over with the ink like that, like I showed you in the previous video. Ink it up so it's nice and wet and shiny with ink ready to stamp it in place. Right, so you're going to um, turn this over, get it nice and square on. It's not quite square on on my um, acrylic block, so I'm going to square or make sure the bottom's in line with the bottom so it doesn't look skew with when you stamp him down. Okay, press him down, press it all over. Make sure you get a good impression. This is a nice thin acrylic block I'm using so you can get a nice pressure on this to get a good stamped image. And then lift it carefully off and there you've got your goose. At this point I'm going to add the stars and the wording that um, 
I've cut out separately as explained before so I'm going to pop the stars onto my acrylic block I'm going to ink those gently like that and I'm just going to randomly press these down wherever I see fit so I'll put some there press and lift ink it up again being careful to just get the ink on the raised parts and then I'll cut this higher up there like that press it down and lift and then the wordings next so we'll make sure the wordings are right way up press it down on your block ink it up nice and gently and decide where you're going to put your wording you could have it up here you could have it wherever you like really I'm just going to pop it near my cloud there so that's it carefully press down and lift so you've got your wording you've got your stamps all stamped onto your sheet and ready and now I'm going to go and dry it uh, with a heat tool just so that none of my archival ink moves it won't dry the distress ink so that you can't take highlight a little bit with water and, and a paintbrush. That'll just stay fine and uh, I'll dry that and then you can come back and we'll take off a little bit of the ink. Right, so we've got to this stage and all I'm going to do now is uh, remove a little bit of the distress ink with uh, water and a paintbrush a fine paintbrush just to give it a little bit of highlight uh, the same as the one I did previously that I showed you so I'm going to highlight it here and there just to pick little bits out just to make it a little bit more interesting right so just put a bit of clean water on your brush and you want a tissue or something that will just help uh, dry the area you're going to work on so I'm just going to put a little bit of water there and there and there and there this is where the circles appear I'll add an extra one there right you can see that's lifting lifting the ink and then I'm just going to pat it with a nice clean tissue which will remove more of the ink and then I'm going to continue on I'm going to uh, just lift a bit where it's a fine day wording is Press that with your tissue and that's just highlighted that a little bit. I'm going to also do it within the stars, just there and there and there. And also within the duck himself, well goose. So that'll lift some of the inks off there as well, just to make it look a bit more three-dimensional. So I've put water on it there, I'm going to press down with the tissue and lift that and we've got a nice white goose there now. You can highlight wherever else that you like um, but I'll leave it at that for now. So what you, what you can also do is, um, as I did in the previous one, you could put your masking tape back on and make yourself a line. Uh, you could add a bit of ribbon there. Uh, you could you could do a bit of colouring within the goose if you wanted or within the stars. It's really it's your card so it's entirely up to you. So just to quickly go over it, what I've used is the goose stamp, which is CI380. It's a fine day and I'm perfectly happy. I've used uh, various coloured distress inks. You can decide yourself which colours you want to use used two or three colours together and I've used a card blank, a 12 centimetre square card blank and, um, and the masking sheet from Styx 2. Thanks very much for watching this little tutorial, hope you've enjoyed it and we hope to be back very soon with some more interesting and fun projects for you to do.